The dams had already been passed in Congress. Uh, the deal was done. Udall was celebrating a great victory of these dams that were going to go in, and everybody, you know, on that side of the story was confident they had won the struggle. And Brower was desperate, and he said, we need something new. He wanted to do advertising. We did a headline, only you can stop Grand Canyon from being flooded for profit. That first ad got a gigantic response, eight or 10,000 pieces of mail. Stuart Udall said he had never had a response like that. The day after one of these ads ran, the little gray man in a little gray suit with a little gray briefcase showed up at the door of the Sierra Club with a hand-delivered letter saying, the Internal Revenue Service can no longer guarantee that contributions to the Sierra Club will be deductible from taxes. This was big news in itself. Here the IRS is going after the poor little Sierra Club for trying to protect the Grand Canyon. I mean, how crazy is that? That was one of the high points of the Sierra Club's existence in terms of credibility and nobility was that we said, go to hell. I mean, we don't want it. I, and they didn't expect that. That really shook up Washington, you know. This little outfit is gonna stop our dams. People in the public may not have known what they thought about the Sierra Club, but they sure knew what they thought about the Internal Revenue Service. Sympathy for the Sierra Club just boiled over, and people joined in droves. We did an ad called, um, Should We Flood the Sistine Chapel So Tourists Can Get Nearer the Ceiling? That was in reaction to the statement that the public was going to love these dams because it would bring the people closer to nature's glories. If you drown a wild river under a reservoir, it kills the natural story of that river and its canyon and the life that lives there. It's an all or nothing. The public rallied to the idea of saving the Grand Canyon. Opposition to the dams grew fast and furious. Pressure grew so strong that it turned the tide. Finally, Congress prohibited dams anywhere in the Grand Canyon and expanded the national park. It was a complete victory for Brower and the Sierra Club. Every now and then, some issue arises that is elevated into a sort of stratospheric focus of public attention. It becomes more than the issue itself. It becomes symbolic and the rallying cry for a whole generation of activists. 